Hey guys, Brandon with Galloway Precision. Sorry if I'm yelling, we're out in the Kydex shop. <clears throat> uh, but today's video is not gonna be about holsters or parts or anything like that. Today's video is gonna be about the current climate of our gun rights and government lackey, lobbyist lackeys that have free reign. Uh, if you follow us on Facebook, then you already know about uh, what I posted earlier today. Yesterday, PayPal took uh, close to $13,000 out of our uh, PayPal account that we were forced to have uh, when we first started selling on eBay many, many moons ago. Um, they shut it down in March of this year, <clears throat> saying that uh, we had violated their acceptable use policy. Were never notified of what exactly we violated we were never given any paperwork anything nothing in writing no emails no phone calls um, they froze our account at the time it had close to fifteen thousand dollars in it uh, from sales uh, they started using that account to do refunds and uh, other things without telling us uh, three months in we get a notification about our account being about 13000 So we go, hey, where'd the other money go? Well, we've been processing your refunds out of that account. Well, thanks for sharing with us or telling us or asking us, but whatever. And then uh, we were about to get the money released. As of yesterday, it would have been six days from yesterday. Uh, well, August 22nd, they decided that they were changing uh, some of their policies without emailing any of the sellers on eBay that they would no longer absorb any fees that they had to pay to the US government for items uh, and firearm accessories and parts that were sold on eBay that were in violation of Magical laws that nobody knows about because the only thing I can think of is ITAR We don't ship internationally Nothing we sell is leaves the continental 48 states we do ship to Hawaii and Puerto Rico, uh, but that's not international. The Hawaii is a state and Puerto Rico is a U.S. Commonwealth. So they told us on the phone yesterday that it was a $25 hit per violation, which the only thing I can come up with there would be an ITAR violation because they run $2,500 to $5,000 per hit uh, to someone who is importing and exporting. They refused multiple times to tell us what the violations were. The woman we were on the phone with didn't even know, couldn't even find the information. All she could do is direct us to the legal department. Uh, we called the legal department, got the run around there, of course, and uh, basically told in no uncertain terms and in a nice way, fuck off, we're not giving you your money. That money, that $13,000, that's a couple months of payroll for one employee here. That's our bonuses for the year. Gone. That's money that could win into machinery and tooling. Gone. Money could win in product development. Gone. Went to our local police and sheriff's department, and unfortunately there's nothing we can pursue criminally because while they have honestly had to deal with this before, which is just in and of itself sickening as it is, Somewhere in the five to six hundred pages of legalese that you have to be a lawyer to understand, probably a lawyer that deals strictly in uh, that kind of law, you know, dealing with contracts and <clears throat> affiliate programs and things like that, will be buried that we can't file charges on them if they take our money, that it's there for the fees, so on and so forth. And I will give the desk sergeant at both APD and Buncombe County, they did all they could to help us. But even they themselves, their hands are tied because it's a supposedly legally binding contract. Now, sure, we could sit there and read all five, six hundred pages. You could sit there and go through your use, agreeable use policies and things like that for your Apple phone, your Google phone, your Samsung phone, every company's got them. 
what they purposely do these days, every big corporation, is they bury legalese all in there in the fine print to where once you actually get screwed uh, with absolutely no... Before I jump too far ahead of myself, if they'd have told us our violations, what we violated in their acceptable use policy, what we were selling, we would have abided, we would have abided by that easily without issue but we never got that and because their blanket term in their acceptable use policy firearm parts and accessories they don't label out specifically what you can and can't sell just firearm parts and accessories and at their whim they can decide without prior notification without anything what is acceptable and what's not all we sold in our eBay site was holsters, traction grips, which on a side note, uh, eBay has frozen Don Meyer at traction grips. They've frozen his account as well. Um, we buy exclusively all our traction grips, obviously, from him and left eBay for him because he was already established and that's what he wanted. And now he can't even sell his product on eBay. A rubber sticker. That's essentially what a traction grip is. Rubberized sticker. Evil rubberized stickers. They've locked his account down. And unfortunately, Don will probably not see any of that money. We've been in contact with him, let him know what's about probably to happen to him is the same thing that happened to us. And I guarantee you, I guarantee you, we are not the only ones this week. We won't be, and we won't be the last. Now, unfortunately, at the time when we signed up for eBay, we didn't have a choice. You had to have PayPal. They had no other payment processor. They are now separate entities. eBay has their own payment processor, their own set of acceptable use. They are now two completely different companies. That's the only reason we're still selling on eBay, because they were tired of losing business become PayPal, became their own entity, bought out. Don't know, don't care, honestly. I'm sure someone will comment below and tell us, but... Here you go, guys. Real hardworking American. We're a small company, not counting Debbie and Eric. Five employees. Count the two owners, seven. Seven of us. We're not making arms for ISIS. We're not selling or funding terrorism like our own country, like our own government. But we're bearing the brunt of it. All because whoever the lobbyists have put in their pocket, whatever they say do, the lobbyist turns around, goes back to their corporation, goes, we gotta do this. Okay, we'll make that happen. They don't need gun control. We don't need federal gun control in any way, shape, or form because what we're seeing right now, and people out there will call me crazy conspiracy theorists, I don't care. Think what you want about me. The proof's in the pudding. You don't need gun control. Don't need it at a federal level. It shouldn't be there at all, period. Every single law is an infringement upon the Second Amendment. But all they've got to do is Pelosi, Schumer, Crenshaw, old Turtle Mitch McConnell, any of these politicians, whether you're on the right side of the aisle, left side of the aisle, all these politicians that get worshipped like they're gods, which, by the way, worshipping false idols is insane. We'll leave the religious talk out for now. <clears throat> and everybody does whatever they say. We're worshiping in a cult of personality instead of holding these people to the fire that the Constitution calls for. This is a public service. It's supposed to be a public service, not a job. But they're delegating out to bureaucrats trying to make laws. They're lobbyists. are turning around going back to the companies they lobby for and telling them this is what they want to happen. 
we've already seen in the news the left totally just saying, why do we even have a Second Amendment? Why do we even have any of this? With Republicans on the other side going, well, red flag laws are okay. Screw your Fourth and Fifth Amendments, but, you know, whatever. Guys, it's all coming to a head. And we have got to take a stand. At some point, we have to. That money was payroll. That money was new machinery. That money could have been a million different things that we could have used. And there's no recourse for us to take to get it back. So make this go viral. Reach out to Traction Grips. Reach out to Don. Talk to him. Reach out to your friends that you know sell 2A products on eBay, on Amazon, on any format outside of their own website. Reach out to other small businesses and say, hey, what's your story here? Because the reality of it is until we get the idiots on the hill and the big corporations' attention by how bad they're screwing the little guy, it's going to continue. Everybody talks a big game. Speak with your wallet. So speak with your wallet. Get rid of your PayPal account. Because today, today it's manufacturers. Today it's us that they come in and say, you can't do that. We're going to keep your money. Tomorrow it's the private citizen that, yeah, government says you can't have this. They think you shouldn't have it. There's no laws against it, but they think you shouldn't have it. So we think you shouldn't have it either. So we're going to freeze your PayPal account, private citizen. Oh, and in six months, we're just going to take all your money. We're not going to tell you why. We're not going to put in writing anything. Now, if I came up to you on the street and did the same thing, I'd be in jail for robbery. What we're looking at is legalized robbery. And we've let it happen. So, Galloway community, 2A community, what are we going to do about it? The NRA is not helping us. We know that. Everybody's going to go, oh, don't make enemies of the NRA. They roll over whenever the government says, hey, we want to do this. They don't go, no, that's an infringement. They go, well, we can meet you there. You know, we banned bump stocks. Was it dumb? Sure. I had a few. They're fun. Are they operationally in any way, shape, or form something you would use in an actual gunfight? Or no. No. One, you can't switch to an offhand. You can pick right or left-handed, and that's what you got because of the way it was set up. <clears throat> but that doesn't matter. The executive branch willy-nilly making laws, bureaucrats at the ATF that are not elected officials in any capacity, making and enforcing laws. Guys, the government, corporations, they don't care about us. They don't care about the citizens. They could care less that they trample all over the world. And we've let it go on for too long. So I challenge you guys out there watching this right now. Do speak with your wallet. Proof is in the pudding, as they say. If you got a PayPal account, get rid of it. Is the convenience worth knowing that people you like, people you shop from, people that you support are being run over and trampled? Imagine if it were just me or you and your entire livelihood was selling something on eBay that was firearms related and they took your money. It's happening right now, I promise you. That's definitely happening. So, in closing... It's really time for us to start fighting that, guys. It's actually time to put our money where our mouth is. Got a PayPal account? Get rid of it. 
ditch it. You want a firearms friendly website? It's literally called firearmsfriendly.com. Just found out about it yesterday. Put us up on there. It's similar to a social media site, but the great thing about it is they don't force us to pay to be on there. If you want to advertise through them, it's done in a way that they only get paid if there's an actual sale made. We need to be flocking as the 2A community to websites like this, as manufacturers, as buyers, as customers. We need to be flocking to places like firearmsfriendly.com. So do it. Go out there, check it out. Join our group. Get on there. Put links up to all your favorite gun websites. Vote them in. Go check it out. It's that type of thing that we need in this community because the reality of it is black, white, purple, yellow. We're fast becoming a large minority in this country, gun owners. Because they don't want us to have them. Why don't they want us to have them? That should be the bigger question. That's a topic for another video. But we're 75 to 120 million strong. 75 to 120 million gun owners in this country. Maybe more, maybe less. The numbers fluctuate a lot. It's time our voices are heard. It's time we stop laying down and letting them run roughshod all over us. McMillan, a couple years ago, another example, Bank of America. Well, you make stocks. Okay. And? Well, we're shutting your account down and taking all your money. It's got to stop somewhere, guys, and it can only stop if we actually put forth the effort. I don't have a PayPal account. I've never had a PayPal account. Nobody that works here has a PayPal account. And the only reason we had it is because we were forced into it by eBay in 2016 when we started selling on eBay. We shouldn't have to be forced into things we don't want. And we shouldn't be punished for other people's misconception and outright lies and misinformation just because we like an inanimate object. So like I said, in closing guys, firearmsfriendly.com, go there. Whether it's us, whether it's, you know, ar15.com, I don't care who you like, go there. Go there and talk them up. Let's spread it, let's build it. We've got to get away from these sites that don't want to support you, the American. That don't want to support us, the American worker. They don't care. You think Jeff Bezos gives two shits about how many gun parts they actually sell on Amazon? No. Half his fortune was taken by his ex-wife and he still has more money than he'll ever spend in eight lifetimes. He thinks he's better than you. That's what it boils down to. These CEOs of these companies, the politicians, they all think they're above us. They think they're elite. They know better. They know how to take care of us. It's time we spoke back with our wallets. Get rid of your PayPal. Go directly to your favorite gun parts website. If they don't have a website, contact them directly. Say, hey, what do we got to do to buy parts directly from you? I don't want you getting screwed on eBay because you're a little guy. I don't want you getting screwed by Amazon because you're a little guy. I don't want you getting screwed by the government because you're a little guy. It's time we took a stand. And this is how it's going to start. Spread this. Make it viral. I'm going to start talking to guys I know through social media, through personal, personally knowing them that have had the same issues on eBay. I'm going to start gathering names. I'm going to start calling out a lot of the pro 2A lawyers that say they're just looking for cases. Here we are. I think $13,000 is a lot. I guarantee there's people that have had 30 to 40 taken from them. This is, your, this is our chance. If you like us, you follow us, buy our parts, I commend you. 
greatly appreciate you. We all greatly appreciate you. Please only buy from the website from now on. Come directly there uh, next week. Instead of a flash sale, we're going to be running a code for everybody to get 10% off. If you use the code, not only will you get your 10% off, you'll get a free Galloway Precision sticker. I'm not going to release it in this video. We'll wait until Friday. But this is our chance, guys. This is our chance to show them we're tired. We're not going to be run over anymore. It is absolutely criminal that a corporation without any, any fear of repercussion from the government whatsoever can just take your money and do what they will with it and sit behind a purposely vague and open statement to rob you blind. Remember guys, today it's us. Tomorrow it's you, the private citizen. So, that's going to close this one up, guys. Be sure to follow us on social media here on YouTube. Like, comment, subscribe below. Share this video. Share it everywhere. The Facebook post is already starting to build steam. If you follow us over there on Facebook, go share the post there. Follow us on Instagram. You'll get the preview for this on Instagram. Share it there. Share it everywhere. The only way we're going to get their attention is the same way that they screw us, and that's through having the louder voice. So follow us here on YouTube. Like, comment, subscribe below. Facebook, Instagram, GunStreamer, nowfirearmsfriendly.com, and uh, Vimeo. And as always, be safe, be accurate, and God bless.